How's it going? Ben Mills here, and we are continuing our series on getting hardware asset management set up. So in our last video, we looked at how to navigate to the ServiceNow store and request the hardware asset management plugin. Uh, now that we've requested it, now that it's been approved, let's um, go look at our plugins to see if it's available to uh, install. So we're going to go to plugins. Great, let's click the hardware assets. Okay, fantastic. So it looks like it's here and we are ready to do the install. Um, as always, we can always scroll through and look at the key features um, that are gonna be installed with Hardware Asset Management Pro, um, as well as the plugin dependencies uh, that this application has. Uh, before we install, though, I think it's a good idea to go into a little bit more detail on some of these um, plugin dependencies that Hardware Asset Management has. So let's talk a bit more about the plugins that are installed with Hardware Asset Management and how they interact with it. First up, we have seem to be class models. This provides out of the box uh, models for new resources. Uh, it adds new classes and their descriptions to the CMDB class hierarchy and creates identification rules and dependent relationships for new classes. Physical assets. So for any third party applications that are going to interface with HAM or EAM, um, this plugin will enable it to validate whether or not HAM and EAM are installed on the target instance. For hardware normalization, this enables the ability to normalize or standardize details around the manufacturer, product, model, and device type for your hardware and consumable models. Asset Management Common. Um, so Hardware Asset Management, Software Asset Management, and Enterprise Asset Management use a set of common features that are found in Base Asset Management. That's what this plugin is speaking to. For GeoMaps, it enables users to visualize different assets, their relationships, and impacts in a Google Maps interface. For procurement, this plugin is used to provide core procurement functionality. So we're talking requests, purchase orders, purchase order line items, and receiving slips. Now, there are some plugins that provide additional support to hardware asset management um, that may not be installed um, just by installing hardware asset management. So we're gonna go through a couple of those. Uh, one of them, very important, cost management. Uh, the cost management functionality uh, is used to track operating costs for configuration items and tasks uh, and task related activities, uh, allocate costs to the business consumers and compare actual allocations to planned budgets. Um, data certification. So this is going to provide field level certification of data and this can be done scheduled or on demand. And then the extended CMDB, this provides a specialized configuration item uh, uh, heading for things like radios, test equipment, and voice system hardware. So uh, those are just some of the plugins that uh, uh, work well with hardware asset management. Again, some of them are installed as part of enabling hardware asset management. And these three right here are an example of ones that you may want to uh, install to get additional functionality and value out of hardware asset management. So now what we're going to do, we're going to go back to the tool and we are going to close out this video after we conduct the installation. Okay, we are back. Uh, let's go ahead and get hardware asset management installed in our instance. So we're just going to click install. Uh, we are going to load the demo data uh, and we are going to install. Um, so this may take a while, so we are going to close the video for now. Uh, in our next video in the series, we are going to go through a guided setup, a way for us to use wizard-like steps to ensure that we stand up hardware asset management uh, according to best practices. So we will see you then. Thank you.